When you set goals, make sure that you don't pay attention only to financial goals. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because unfortunately, many people focus mostly on the financial goals. So literally 90% of their attention is on finances. And of course, making money is important, but it's not the most important thing. Now, many people have a misconception that if they make certain amount of money, their lives will change. They will be happy, okay? And I meet many people like that. For example, I meet people who tell me that if they only made $1 million a year or $2 million a year, their lives would totally change, okay? A miracle what would happen. Well, basically, they presuppose that the level of happiness they experience is inextricably connected to some specific monetary value. And very often that value is not based on any conceivable reasoning. It's just uh, an erroneous guess, okay? Some assumption they make. So people say to themselves, well, $1 million seems like a lot of money. So I suppose that it would make me happy. But it doesn't work like that because when you think about money, money is not real. I mean, pull out $100 bill from your wallet or 100 euro bill, whatever you have in your wallet right now, and try to examine it very closely. What value would you assign to it? I mean, really think about it. Think about the intrinsic value. Well, the reality is that it costs 12 and a half cents to produce $100 bill, 12 and a half cents. So when you think about it, why do we assign $100 worth of value to a piece of paper, a piece of cotton fiber that costs 12 and a half cents to produce? Well, clearly it's not about the material itself. It is about the value that money can give you, okay? So when you make money, it's not just about how much you make, but it's about what you can do with that cash, whether you have the time and mobility, so you can actually create value in your life. Many people say that they want to be millionaires, but taking into account what I've just said, they actually don't want to be millionaires. What they want is to have the ability to buy things and have the experiences that are supposedly reserved solely for the ultra rich. I mean, think about it. People don't want to have a couple of suitcases filled with those 12 and a half cent cotton fiber papers. That's not what they want. They just want to have the power to buy things and have experiences that are supposedly reserved for the millionaires. Well, the good news is that you don't need to have millions of dollars to live a really good life, to live like a millionaire. Now, think about this. Let's say that you have five or $10 million in the bank. You think that you have all the options. Well, what if you can't even use this money to build real value for your life? What if you are working, for example, 80 hours a week, you have absolutely no time and you are sick and unhealthy? Does it really matter that you have this five or $10 million? It doesn't really matter. So what I believe in is that many people try to sacrifice the best years of their lives just to reach that massive financial goal because they think that this is the solution. This is the holy grail, okay? Their lives will change. When they get that five or 10 mil, everything will change. What they don't understand is that life is unpredictable and you may spend 10 years of your life, 10 best years of your life, sacrificing all your time to make that money. And once you get to the finish line, you may get sick, for example, and this money will not matter anymore. So what I believe in is that when you design your life, it's important not to focus only on the money. Now, of course, as I said, money is important, but don't focus only on the money. Focus on other goals as well.